Disaster payments have been approved for 23 local government areas worst affected by the unfolding weather event. Joining me now live is the Deputy Nationals Leader and Shadow Emergency Management Minister Perrin Davey. Appreciate your time this morning. Those disaster relief payments will be made available from 2pm tomorrow afternoon. Is this enough for those impacted by the floods? Oh, look, it's really appreciated and it's a first step. But uh, one question that has to be asked, we had the disaster recovery funding arrangements kicked off uh, on Monday night, which is a joint state and federal agreement, uh, and the, the federal emergency management minister along with the state emergency management minister made that announcement for the 23 local government areas uh, as a natural disaster declarations. That was very welcome. That opens the door for local government support and, uh, you know, low interest loans for businesses. Why did it then take another two days for us to get this announcement about payments to individuals? This announcement is entirely in the scope of the Commonwealth Government. We didn't need to wait for the state government to make an announcement. We didn't need to wait for the Prime Minister to return from overseas. This could have been announced on Monday. Um, when we had the floods in the Northern Rivers in March, we had the fastest rollout of financial assistance that this nation has ever seen. And within the week, we saw Services Australia at evacuation centres helping people get these $1,000 payments. Um, and today, I'm, very, I'm welcoming the announcement today. I'm welcoming that it starts from 2 p.m. tomorrow, but we still don't have the detail. People are still going, where do I go to get this assistance? When Labor was in opposition, it was quite critical of the previous government's handling of the disaster payments, saying that uh, the previous coalition was actually too slow to implement changes. Uh, and we just heard at that press conference now that people affected by the flooding crisis of a few months ago, they still haven't been able to access payments. So has Labor actually handled this crisis this time around more efficiently? Well, it depends which payment level you're, you're talking about. And this is the complex nature of emergency management, disaster, financial assistance. That $1,000 payment that uh, has been announced today to start tomorrow, that we also put in place back in March, within the money was rolling out within weeks. And within the first three months, we had paid out over one point. $38 billion to 1.4 million individual recipients. So um, we need to wait and see whether they're going to match that. Other funding arrangements that go out through uh, with the assistance of the states or through other agencies, um, there are different views on how effective that is and how timely that is. But uh, what we need to make sure is that people know where to go when they're trying to access these funding arrangements. So we need some detail about 2 p.m. tomorrow, if I'm a flood affected person, where do I go to sign up for my $1,000 payment? That's the most important thing. That's the question people are asking. The other question people are asking is about flood mitigation now, given that this is the third flood in a matter of months. Should the Warragamba Dam wall now be raised? Well, certainly um, our government had supported the state government's proposal for Warragamba wall uh, raising. Um, the issue is going to be, and I heard the Prime Minister sort of say, well, we need environmental approvals, we need this approval and that approval. We are going to have to answer the question as a nation as to uh, which takes precedence when it comes to approvals. Do we hold up and say, no, flood mitigation is less important than certain environmental considerations that have, to date, prevented any progress on that, on that proposal. And this is the same debate that we've had around the Lismore area with flood mitigation and potential levy banks. Um, prior to the most recent floods, any proposal for levy banks or flood protection was knocked on the head by local government uh, and the state. MP for that area, I understand, has uh, been quite vocal about not encroaching on their wonderful environment, which is gorgeous. It is fantastic up there and consideration absolutely has to be made 
for what the sort of flow on implications for any flood mitigation are. But we need to start really thinking about we have allowed development in these areas that are flood prone. Um, and at one stage, Warwick Dam, the dam, the thought was that it would be enough. It is not, it's important to remember though, Warwick Dam, the dam, as it is currently designed, is not a flood mitigation dam. The proposal to raise the dam wall will allow um, a level of flood mitigation to be uh, incorporated into the management and operation of that dam. Perrin Davey, we're short on time. We have to leave it there. Thank you for joining us. No worries. Thank you very much for having me.